Hot Laws. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. So Dave brought this to my attention yesterday that I guess South Park is coming out with a new game, which is really awesome because literally just two days ago, we were looking for some video games to play and Dave was like, oh, does anything jump out at you? And I was like, no, not really, uh, unless they have South Park because that game was really good and I would totally play that again. And then the very next day, South Park releases the trailer for their upcoming game, Snow Day. Here's what the box is going to look like. It looks like it's going to be coming out on all of the different consoles. Um, I'll most likely get it on Switch. Um, that's what I played the original South Parks on. I usually hook the Switch up to the TV. But I like having the option that I can, like, you know, take it somewhere to play it with me if I want to. And I don't feel as chained to it as I would if it was the Xbox. So I'm really excited for this trailer because I loved, loved, loved the original South Park game. I also love South Park in general as a show, and lately that's been kind of my like de-stressing thing is watching the free episodes of South Park on the South Park Studios website. If you don't know, they have free episodes on there. They change them weekly. It's awesome. Anyways, I'm excited for this. I really like the first South Park game more than I like the second South Park game. The first one was just like perfection. The gameplay, the game, all the little side quests, it was hilarious, but it wasn't too over the top. The second one I felt like was a little bit more, they were kind of stretching. It was like they were trying to outdo themselves from the first one, and there was a little bit too much of the fart jokes in there for me, and that just kind of turned me off. So it's now been, oh my gosh, probably, probably a a decade at least since the last South Park video game came out. So hopefully this one's going to be really fresh, really new. South Park has evolved a lot from, you know, where the series was when the first game came out anyways. So let's take a look at the trailer and see what we think. Hey, you ready to come play another game? Okay, new kid, we have all new rules this time. Now you can play alone or with three of your closest friends. Unless you don't have any oh, friends, that's then you really can just join cool. matchmaking and play with randos. Now listen, Clyde has information that the elves are preparing to launch a massive attack on our kingdom. They've been spotted advancing their forces near Stark's Pond. We have to take them out before they kill us out. Good luck. Ah! Yeah, get him, new kid. They're attacking into a swarm. Show no mercy, new kid. You can't keep running into arrows and stay alive, dumbass. Okay, very nice, guys. I know you're hiding something, pal. And we're gonna find out what it is. Ah. Weapons are nice, new kid. But this game's also about using cubs. You got Fart Escape. A blast from the ass. Try it out. You've been using that Fart Escape a lot, so be careful with your colon. Hey, player two. He died again? Well, you're just the best little healer, aren't you? You're making a mistake, Cartman. Are you denying that you were gearing up your entire army to attack our fucking base? Says who? Says Clyde. And do you always trust what Clyde says? Hell no, Clyde's a total dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're crazy. Got weapons here. It's the apocalypse. Prepare to die. Kick that fucking elf ass. No. Good luck trying to ruin this game. I'm sure you'll manage. That was so awesome. That made me so happy watching it. Uh, I just, I love the South Park characters. They're so awesome. Just hearing their voices instantly puts me in a good mood. Um, I think it's really cool. So this is going to be a co-op game, which is awesome. You hear that, Dave? So we can play it together. Yep. We can get all the group together. We'll be happy, <laughs> happy. That's really cool, though, because honestly, like, not there's not a lot of like story games that are co-op so i like that that'll be really fun that david and i can play this together um and it looks like this game as opposed to the other games the combat system here let's go to where the fighting is so it looks like the combat system is a little yeah. bit more they're attacking into a swarm show no mercy new kid you can't keep running into arrows and stay alive um 
Dave, what do you call this type of combat? So in the original games, it was like the turn-based type of combat where you had to like move your little person onto a grid board and then choose the attack and it played out like that. But this is more of like, you're just kind of running around fighting. Is there a certain name for that type of gameplay? There probably is, but I'm just going to call it running around fighting now. Okay. So it's I'm more running of just... around fighting style. All right. So it's more of just a running around fighting style as opposed to the turn base, um, which is pretty cool. I don't mind the turn base. Some games turn based is a, uh, it, it gets a little bit tedious. It wasn't really too bad in South Park, but this will definitely speed up the rate at which you can play the game and make it a little bit more interesting. And that's definitely important if you're going to be playing it co-op with other people online. Um, and I like that personally because I'm not really very good at the like running around fighting people up close. So when Dave and I play games together, he's usually the melee guy who gets up there close with the sword, of course, and goes like slash slash slash. Uh, and then I'm the person who's ranged standing far away, like, you know, shooting arrows or lightning or you know whatever um so yeah i think that i think this will be fun and it'll definitely make the game seem a little bit more modern a little bit more fresh compared to how the original games were um i love that you have all of your you know you have all your main characters in here and it is kind of a continuation from the other games where you have like you know, just the ongoing play battle with the kids where Eric Cartman is, you know, leading his his group and then they're going up against the elves, which is, you know, led by Kyle and you have your constant ongoing battle between Kyle and Eric, which Kyle is definitely far superior to Eric, but Eric is just so hilarious. Um Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. If it's anything like the first games, they also had a lot of really fun side quests and a lot of little hidden easter eggs and just cool stuff going on in the game which enhanced it you know it made you want to explore it made you want to do more look at them look at how awesome that is oh i'm so excited so we have the wizard up against where's kyle up against the elves oh there he is ah and and i really hope since we're in like modern era of South Park, I really hope that we get something going on with like Randy Marsh's Tegrity Farms and that that's a whole thing. That would be great. Anyways, I'm really looking forward to this. Let me know what you guys think, um, what console you're going to play this on, and maybe we can play together. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.